Hello everyone, here is another financial maths exam question. So here we have a person called Lisa who invested 14,500 Rand in a bank over an eight year period. So the interest rate looks like it does change. It was 6.5% monthly for the first five years and then it changes to an effective interest rate. That just means uh, yearly for the remaining period. Lisa runs into financial difficulties and withdraws 3,000 Rand after six years. Calculate how much her investment is worth at the end of eight years. Did someone just say, we need to draw a timeline? Well, yes, that would be correct. We definitely need a timeline, just so we can have a much better idea of what's going on. I know from some of the students I've tutored in the past, some students are like, oh, Kevin, I hate timelines. But guys, trust me, they do help. Um, it helps you to just visualize what's happening. So I always do two timelines. One of them, well, I only do two timelines if there is changing interest rates and there's deposits and withdrawals. So my one timeline is for all of the payments and the withdrawals. And then the other timeline is to show me all of the different interest rates. Some teachers put all of it on one, but it can get a bit crowded and a bit messy and difficult to understand. So I'm going to start with the payments. So let's say here, Lisa at T0, Lisa starts with 14,000. 500 Rand and when does she do anything else? Okay, so 3,000 Rand is withdrawn after six years. Some of you are probably like, Kevin, what about the interest rate? Guys, I know we're gonna get to that now. T6, we're gonna take away 3,000 Rand and we would like to know what it's all worth at T8. Now, let's look at the interest rate. So it looks like for the first five years, so from T0, up to T5, which would be there, we are using 6.5% monthly. So 6.5% monthly. Then what happens? Okay, then it changes to 8.4%, and then it's they're saying effective. So that just means like yearly, for example. And that goes all the way up to the end. Now, we just have to calculate what her investment will be worth. So if you've watched any of my other financial maths videos, you'll know what I'm about to do now. What I do is I look at these two amounts and I start with the first one. And so I completely ignore that one, the second one. And what I do now is I just take that 14,500 and I compound it all the way to the end, okay? So just using the normal compound formula. So I'm just going to say here, we're busy with the 14,500 now. So I use this formula, the normal compound interest formula. And so that'll just be 14,500. And then we've got to look at all the different interest rates. So because we're starting from T0 and we're going all the way to T8. So the first interest rate is just the monthly interest rate. So that's going to be 0.65, 0 0.065, you might say 6.5% or 6.5 over 100, any way you like, and then it's monthly. And that interest rate is for five years. So we say five times 12. Then, actually, no, we're gonna do that up to, yeah, that was up to T5, I haven't, oh, that T6 was for the 3,000. Oh, I see. Okay, so the interest rate here is from T5 up to T8. So the interest, when the interest rate changes, you just use another bracket. You don't have to go like get the answer and recalculate. You just add on another bracket and that's a yearly interest rate. So you don't say divided by five, um, divided by 12, divided by four, nothing like that. And that one goes from T5 up to T8. So that's three years. So then you can go ahead and calculate this quickly, but you don't want to round off because it's not the final answer. And so that gives us 25,539 and then don't round off nine, eight, six, three, four. Okay, so now I go back to the timeline and we've now done this value. This value is now finished. So then we go on to this one over here, the 3000. And we do the same thing, but be careful. That 3000 only gets taken out over here. So the interest rate from there until the end is only going to be the 8.4% yearly. And it's only going to be for two years. Okay, so we're then going to use the same formula. Okay, but now we're doing it for the 3000 Rand. Don't worry about the negative. Um, we'll take that into account just now. So we're going to say 
um, we're going to say that this is equal to 3000 and then 1 plus, now it's just the, um, let me do that in blue. So that's 1 plus 0 0.084 and that one's only for two years. From T6 to T8 is only going to be two years. And so if we work that out, that'll give us 3.5 and don't round off once again, 0.168. Right, so we've done all the numbers on our timeline. So now you just add them or minus them, depending on whether they had a plus or a minus. So this amount here was a deposit, and this amount here is a negative. So to find out the total, you're just gonna um, say 25539.98634 minus 3525.168, and that gives 22014.82. There we go, guys. Thank you very much for watching.